In this example, we are given 3 grams of some polymer dissolved in 20 milliliters of solution. And we know that the osmotic pressure is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2 atms at 25 degrees Celsius. We want to find the molar mass of our polymer. So before we begin, I want to illustrate exactly what's meant by osmotic pressure. So let's look at this system. Suppose we have two sides, one side and a second side. And the two sides are blocked off by a membrane. This membrane allows water to pass through, but does not allow uh, our solid molecules to pass through. Now, this side simply contains 20 milliliters of solvent. This side contains a solution of 20 milliliters that contains 3 grams of our polymer. So the red dots are our polymer dots. Now, what will happen? Well, since the concentration uh, of our solute is greater in this side, then water will tend to move from this side to this side, right? So, osmotic pressure basically says, well, I need to apply this much pressure on this side of the membrane to stop the movement of that water, to stop osmosis for, from occurring. So that's what is meant by osmotic pressure. So now we basically want to use all the given info and use our formula for osmotic pressure and find our molar mass of polymer. Now, first step is let's write down our formula and let's see which ones we have and which ones we, we don't. So, I we have, I is just simply one, and that's because our polymer doesn't dissociate into anything. So, I is one. Our T in Kelvin is 25 plus 273 gives us 298 Kelvin. Our R is a constant, so it's 0 0.0821 liters times ATM over moles times Kelvin. And our molarity, well, we don't have our molarity, but we do have our osmotic pressure. So this is what we want to find. And we want to find this guy and use that to find our grams per mole or molar mass. Because remember, molar mass is the amount of mass per one mole. So, let's plug these guys in into this equation, and we got this by rearranging this by bringing all these guys on this side, so we got that. So we plug in uh, our osmotic pressure, 0 0.0138 atms over our constant times our temperature times I, or 1. So, atms cancel, uh, the kelvins cancel, and we get... 5.31 times 10 to negative 4 moles per liter. So this is our molarity. Now let's find the number of moles of polymer. If we find the number of moles of, po of polymer, we could take our amount in grams, divide that by our moles, and we get molar mass, or mass per mole. So, 5.31 times 10 to negative 4 molar, which we got from here, times the amount of solution we have, which is 20 milliliters or 0.2 liters, because we have to convert milliliters to liters, we divide this by 1,000 and we get 0.2. The liters cancel and we get 1.06 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of polymer. And now we take our grams of polymer divided by our moles of polymer and we get 28,230 grams per mole, or 28 kilograms per mole, and that's our final answer.